How to stay fit if you don't belong to a gym. Many people, they don't like the idea of going to the gym, but they do like the idea of being fit. Why wouldn't you? It's the core and pinnacle of our well-being. If you're one of these people who is not really a gym fan, you don't like the idea, you don't like the environment, great news for you here, because in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can still stay active without hitting the gym. So whether you're lacking time, or you simply don't feel comfortable at the gym, doesn't mean you can't lose weight, burn fat, get in shape and stay fit. From simple walks to online personal training and health, there are numerous ways in which you can start that healthy lifestyle. So let's see what we can do both indoors and outdoors to really kickstart that, that fitness and we can stop making those excuses now because we do not need the gym to stay fit. First up, how do we stay fit outdoors? Five useful, simple exercises. Now you might think you need the outdoors to have a fit body. Well, it's more about your preferences. It doesn't matter whether you move your, uh, where you move your body, as long as you are moving your body and stay motivated. So here's five ways you can help to incorporate a fitness plan into your daily routine outdoors. Walking, simple, yeah, we do it all the time, but find the fact that it helps you reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. Walking is actually a great way to clear your thoughts burn more calories and um, get moving actively. Therefore, if you're aiming to improve your body shape, take at least 30, 45 minutes a day to walk. It's free, convenient, and helps you relax and recharge. This doesn't mean you even have to set up a designated walking time. Just make it part of your day. Walk between meetings, walk up and down the stairs, um, mid-morning coffee, walk outside around the block, lunchtime, go for a walk, walk further to get to work, get off a stop early if you're commuting, those sort of things, keep it simple. Running, running's fun for some people, but if you like the speed to speed up and process your um, weight loss even more so, and achieve that fat, um, that fit lifestyle much more rapidly, running is a great option out there, yeah? Helps you also strengthen your bones, improve your cardiovascular fitness, and stay in shape at the same time make it a regular exercise and see your body change for the better. Start easy, start light, don't be going running marathons on your first day out. Start with interval, that sort of thing. So you start, even if you wanna try it um, on, a, on a treadmill, it doesn't have to be in a gym, um, but you start by doing some walking. A couple of minutes walk, warm up. Two minutes walking, 10 seconds of running. Doesn't have to be super sprints, doesn't have to be Usain Bolt pace, back down to walking another minute of walking, 20 seconds walking, 30 seconds walking, and gradually build yourself up. Yeah, you might start with 10 minutes, then you might up to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you'll find that fitness comes surprisingly quickly, and you might become a big running fan. Next up, climbing stairs. This is simple. Indoors, outdoors, doesn't matter where you are. There are steps everywhere. If there's a lift, an elevator, an escalator, guess what? There'll be some steps as well. Use the steps rather than the mechanical devices. It's a super efficient cardio exercise. Every time you can, choose the stairs. It builds muscle as well. It's great, it pumps the legs. What do the legs contain? The biggest muscles in the body. So you're burning, you're using the biggest muscles, you're gonna burn the most amount of energy and build muscle as well. You're gonna burn calories and improve your cardiovascular health. If you wanna spice things up, carry some weights with you doesn't have to be dumbbells or, or you know kettlebells or things. Have your backpack, have some bags, load them up with stuff, doesn't matter what it is. You may carry a lot of stuff around with you to, to get to the, to, to the workplace. Or shopping, if you've got two bags of shopping or a nice backpack full of shopping, take the long walk home, don't use the car, get up and down some steps. There's um, all, all manner of ways you can, you can build this into play, yeah? Next up, cycling, bicycle cycling. Very economical, environmentally friendly. Bike riding is a great way to achieve your fitness goals. Very efficient workout. You can help also strengthen your muscles, your bone density, strength, cardiovascular health. You even start reducing that cholesterol. Um, if you haven't taken a ride for a, a long time, get yourself a simple bike um, and make it more fun, get a partner to go with you. If you wanna keep it really efficient, cycle to work. It doesn't have to be all the way. You might cycle part of the way, take the rain, train the rest of the way. That sort of thing, build it into play. It's good fun, gets you outdoors, and um, it's, a, it's a lot of enjoyment. Next up, jumping rope, skipping rope. Um, 
even if you don't have the space inside your house, get outside, it's all good, yeah? Go to the park, go to the backyard, wherever you feel most comfortable, take your skipping, jumping rope with you. It's really fun. It's a very efficient way to get you um, to burn lots of calories, yeah? You'll be surprised. Why do you think boxers use skipping? It's super efficient at getting the heart rate up without having to go any distance or run around. Start simply, do 50 jump jumps. Build it up more and more and more till you do five minutes, 10 minutes nonstop. And also get used to, if you, if you, if you can't coordinate yourself to start with, practice, It'll, you'll, uh, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so it's raining outdoors, it's midwinter, it's, it's minus five degrees. We're gonna to wanna to do some indoor training as well. So here's, the, here's five tips for busy bees. You can um, use the um, indoor environment to up your fitness game. Yoga, yoga's great, yeah? It, um, it starts a very positive attitude. You've got your yoga mat. All you need to do is start with some beginner poses. Have a look on YouTube. They will fight, not, you know, not, not too complicated. It really helps to improve your day. You start off in the morning. Uh, some of the benefits you'll get, blood circulation improvement, muscles and joint stretching improvement, aches and pains and stiffnesses are relieved, improved flexibility, injury prevention, higher muscle tone, stress reduction. Some of these poses are quite challenging, yeah? You're gonna build muscle um, uh, during, the, uh, during the activity, so try a bit of yoga. Dancing, dancing's fun. It's a great way to keep your, um, to live a healthy lifestyle, keeps the body fit. Um, grab a playlist, something that's fun, dance your worries away. Um, the more you move your body, the more you'll benefit from this physical activity. So make sure you're comfortable, ready to have fun, and get the most out of it, yeah? There's often some guided dance workouts you'll find on YouTube. Things like Zumba are also quite fun as well. Some can be a bit more technical, but if you're at home on your own, who's going to know if you get it wrong? Incorporate your friends, family, partners, kids. Kids love dancing and playing and, and, and messing around with, with, with music. Bring them into play, they'll love it and it keeps them fit too. Next up, body weight exercises. You do not need a whole gym or a whole raft of uh, equipment. All you need is your own body weight. By using this, you can actually build strength and endurance. Um, simple uh, exercises, have a look at the links. I've got some, some good simple workouts you can do. Sit-ups, crunches, push-ups, pull-ups, lunges, squats, planks. All of these things are super easy to do. You don't need a lot of room. Your body weight is all you need. And guess what? They are hard. You will feel the burn afterwards. Swimming, swimming's fun. Swimming's um, also very um, low intensity, particularly on the muscles and joints. Um, it's great fun, it's great to get you in shape. It's full body. A lot of these um, cardio exercises they only use the legs or the arms. This uses the whole of your body, improves your bone density again and really burns that cardiovascular health. It's also fun if you're doing it down at the beach or with, with friends and that sort of thing. Again, get the kids involved. They might be young and learning to swim. So make, make the opportunity to, to do that as well. Start easy, start, start um, uh, small, short distances to start with until you get used to things like the breathing, uh, the stroke technique, those sort of things. Then go all out, get a coach if you want, they'll help you with your technique, enter some um, some races, some, some fun challenges, that sort of thing as well. It's a great way of, of getting involved with fitness. Personal training. Um, it's easier to train a healthy weight when you're moving daily, but it's easier when there's someone there to keep you motivated and tell you what you need to do so you're doing it properly and achieving that fitness level that you want. Good news is personal training can be done from your own home without having to go to the gym. There's a lot of online trainers. Um, they know, because they've got the knowledge, they've done you know thousands of hours worth of training and, and upskilling and have had many different types of clients. So they know what you need. So you're not gonna be wasting time. They are key because they're gonna motivate you and make sure you actually do it. It's all good and well going, yes, I've got this great program, but if you only do it once a week or once a month, this ain't gonna happen, yeah? So that'll also help you with things like your um, overall movement, your stress management, your other well-being elements, uh, your overall health, and things like your nutrition as well. Few options for you are there. Also, I've got some more options. Have a look in the comments below. There's three key elements that I can use to help you start your fitness journey today.